Hi guys and welcome back to the channel on this incredibly hot day. So my phone says 22 degrees, it's definitely not, it was a lot hotter than that. Um, so we're not in the garage today, uh, like I say I wanted to get the welding done on this which if you've seen Sunday's video you'll see that I'm at the point where I'm pretty happy it can go up on my jig again. car as solid as it's going to get for now i want to finish the welding underneath fit the valance and paint the underside fit the fuel and brake lines fit the rear subframe probably because it's easier while it's upside down um and yeah and we can move on with this project and um, because it's like I say a lot of you guys have not necessarily said it in so many words but it has dragged on a little bit this car um it's dragged on for me but obviously it's all kind of some of it's been out of my hands some of it hasn't and other projects have uh, brought it through so First point of call today, I've made a modification to my trusty Irish shirt. So, to get rid of my meaty tan lines, we've cut sleeves off. Um, so, we're going to be working outside today. So, not in the garage as such, but um, obviously, I'll just do a quickly, quick recap if you didn't catch some of these videos. Um, we're at the point now where the shell is kind of where it's going to get to. Um, so, this court has all been done, it's all been ground back to the point that you know it is what it is for now. Um, and then we finished the welding in the boot. Uh, with the fuel tank bracket and we've done a little repair down there so that's basically everything that I'm happy with now boot lid's just sat in place hope you'll like it this is a Mark II boot lid a brand new one um, so it's like got the double skin and stuff like that so it's only just held on with a little bungee so it's not all lined up so don't jump on me with panel gaps because it won't look like that it's just hanging on a bit of elastic so yeah I'm happy with where we're at to now so all I've got to do now is fit these closer panels. So you can see obviously it's got the subframe holes. Let's go around there and show you, just in case you're not familiar with these panels. So we have the subframe holes and there's a strengthener welded to that. So you've got the closer for the balance and the strengthener. So you can see the two pieces still there. Really heavy, real weighty bit of bit of kit this. Um, so obviously you have both sides there. Um, once this is fitted, uh, obviously the balance is just laying across there. The quarter panels are in storage for now. Um, for another project and then we've got the seam strips which we've got off mini mine so we're going to get them fitted up probably towards the end of all the prep so we're not going to stress over that right now um, but yeah we're at the point now obviously there's loads of little welds along here that one is cleaning underneath I'm going to finish there's a bit more weld I want to do all along the hill board and I might add some little strengtheners in so um, again it's not I guess factory but I want to add a little bit more strength into the car because it's been apart so much. I want to add some more strength into it. Um, once we've done that, we can get the car off the jig because it will be painted. It'll be lovely night shire red, night fire, night shire, night fire red. Um, so something like that. So me and Tony have been talking. So if you haven't caught Tony, he's in, been in a few of the videos, uh, the orange mini. Um, yeah, we're both quite. Yeah, I'm pretty keen to get this painted. So it'd be really nice. Plus, I'd be like the best husband ever, wouldn't I? So, yeah, that's the colour the car's going. So obviously, this is the Halford one. This is what I've been doing on my cavity paints with. Um, just night fire red. So it's like a burgundy. I know it's very bright on camera, but when it dries, it's like a burgundy. So, which moves me on to the rest of this video. So, this is why I cut the sleeves off. We've got a jig. So, been down. Um, and this is... Uh, been in Pete's storage for ages, Pete Mate storage. So, if you aren't familiar with the term Pete Mate, the blue Arizona, or Hawaiian blue, sorry, not Arizona, Hawaiian blue MPI, uh, we did for him, and the 62 blue estate, which is the most recent one, we've done that. So, he had this kicking about, and he said, Well, you might as well use it because you do all the welding for me. Uh, <laughs> um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to get it cleaned up basically just being in storage and unfortunately they come not painted um, but it's th there's a company on eBay that makes these so it's a professionally made bit of kit so it just needs cleaning them up it all moves so there's the rear adapter for it um, obviously again it's got bolt holes going to turret so I need to find some big thick bolts with some good washers um, and then we've got excuse the dog 
um, got the this piece which is a new piece for the front. Well, there's two pieces, they're exactly the same, but this is a new piece for the front, so you can see this goes where the top turrets are and stuff like that. And then their supports will go down onto the steering rack bracket, so they kind of sit like so and then mount down. So we're filming it all out, but so I'll, I'll scotch that back and clean that as well. But we also want to get this clean back, so I'll find somewhere to put you on a time lapse and um. Yeah, we'll get going with it. So it all spins nicely and moves. Um, some of the bolts here, some aren't. So I'll have to find some bolts. Um, but yeah, get it up going. I'm going to tighten this up a bit. But yeah, it's, uh, it's all there. So it just looks a bit worse for us. So just for the sake of keeping it nice, I'm going to just clean it back. I'm going to dust some etch primer on it. Well, fur tan it so I don't do it again. Dust some etch primer on it. Um, and then what we do is we'll just get some satin black on it which is what I've ordered up for it so yeah let's crack on right so plan of action just gonna have some 80s just get any rough stuff off um, and then fur tan I can basically I could actually just leave that that's fur tan it'll look black um, creates a zinc coating so I'm gonna whack a load of this on because it's good stuff and we've got quite a bit still in there um, but then I am just gonna clean it back with a scotch pad and then we're gonna zinc prime and get some of that satin black on there so let's get you guys set up All right, so that's the first one cleaned back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bang some fur tan on the first one while I sand back the second one. Plan. So that was taking far too long. And then I re re remembered one of the biggest things for first hand is it can be sprayed on. So this will be a lot quicker. Oh yeah, that's far quicker. How good that applies. I'm not overly too bothered with the feet because obviously they're going to get dragged on the floor and damaged. So, but we want to get the rust off as much as we can. So that's what we do. Oh, this is a lot easier. Look at that! Boom, done. Even rust proof in my uh, lawn. Nice freshly cut lawn, all rust proof. Also guys, be sure to stick around to the end of the video. Um, a little bit of a sad announcement, but should lead to a good announcement later on this month. So be sure to carry on watching until the end. Catch you in a bit. Right, so that's so much better sprayed on. Right, so you can see now it's got a really nice coating. It's a lovely, lovely rust colour. It's almost, almost burgundy. Um, so I'll let that dry in the sun and then you neutralise it with a bit of water. Um, and then you can either overpaint it or you can actually leave it. Obviously I want it to look a bit more attractive. Um, so I'm going to paint it black. It'll get damaged, it'll get oversprayed, but at least it looks better. So, do that, probably. Right. right, I'll bring you guys back. When it's ready for paint. All right, so there we have it. Just popped it up on some old Logic Clubman wheel. Um, yeah, it's all in zinc primer now, so we should be okay. So, going to let that flash off in the sun. Um, that other bit over there is just down in the garden and I've still got these bits I've just got back. But everyone loves a garden painting. Just remember, Project Clubman's bonnet was painted there. So yeah, <laughs> no show finish. Literally, this is a brown protection of this and just to make it look a bit more presentable. So yeah, it's all moving nice and freely and stuff now. So 
it's all good. So yeah, we will uh, hopefully get working on it and get, get the Mini on it. And here we have it. So, all painted up. Don't look too bad. It's going to get in all sorts of overspray and weld grime and grinding dust all over them. But yeah, they're all. That'll do me. That will do me. So, there's the two main frames um, all done. And then the other bits are in here. And then here's the. Uh, the other two frames so that's the front one and the back one so yeah the finish is what it is it's you know it's a uh, obviously metal that's a little bit pitted but it's absolutely fine this one's obviously still got a nice powder coat to it but absolutely spot on for what we need so maybe one day we'll strip them and repaint them we'll get them shot blasted but they will do for now so next point of call is to get this mini mounted up so I think I have all the nuts and bolts. I think I just need some big bolts to go through this with a kind of a good size washer because um, it fits up inside the turrets up inside there. So, Right, so now time for a bit of an announcement. Bit, bit of a sample. Um, my Volvo 940 Vera. Um, there's been a few videos on her. She's basically been my park go-getter. Um, I never thought I'd be in a position to have to or to need to sell the car. Um, however, I have. Um, it's not been an easy sell at all, and it's one of them. Something had to give, and I either sold her or I sold one of the minis, and I just can't part with the minis at the moment. Um, I did think about selling the White Estate, um, Jerry, but I just couldn't do it, and I don't know, I just couldn't do it. That car's, I won't find another one like that, and don't get me wrong, the Volvo is, is rare in its own right, you know, it's a manual turbo car, but, I had to give something I had to give and I had to open another door so that's the sad part of the announcement over um, the good part or the two good parts um, is she's gone to a really good home she's gone to James so if you remember James from the channel um, he obviously has the truck and stuff like that and he's selling a few of his cars and he wants another same sort of thing part of get uh, something to tow with um, a big old old retro estate and he's he, he had um, a 90s cavalier growing up and it reminded him loads of that like you know just the 90s vibe of a car and i completely get that and um, obviously growing up 90s cars myself which is why i bought the volvo because i grew up with them kind of cars um so he offered to to um take her on he's uh gonna catch up all the little jobs that i've not been able to do uh, there's just a few little niggles and bits and pieces that need to be done um and in the, you know there's a there's a point maybe in the future that i might be able to buy it back so that's why i did what i did because at least I have that chance. Um, but you will probably see Vera on the channel soon. Um, I have said to James, you know, film any bits you're doing to her if you want to. He's very busy in personal life at the moment, but you will you will see him on the channel very soon. Um, but yeah, Vera has gone. Um, she has been replaced, but with nothing exciting, so I probably won't even bother trying to film anything like that. Um, literally just a daily vehicle for me to potter around in. Um, but yeah, she's sorted. Um, and it's opened, basically by selling her, has opened the door for me. Um, and I'm hoping that in the next week or so, or two weeks, I can show you that. I really cannot jinx it yet. Um, everything's still going through and stuff like that. So yeah, it's one of them things. It's something I had to give to Mal or something else. I know I said to you right at the beginning of the channel that we need to work through these projects, progress the channel, and it's go big or go home. So I'm trying to do that for you guys. So I'm gonna stop rambling. I hope you've enjoyed this really random video. Um, comment away. You know, have you used a rotisserie spirit? What do you think about them? Um, the plan is, like I say, to get this on. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel because then you'll see this get to the point where it's going to get painted, hopefully over the next few months. Um, plan is to get the inside done, get the self frames back in and get rolling. And then we can look at getting the top coat on and getting it all prepped up. And Mrs. Simpson can have a mini back, which should be really cool. 
Obviously, subscribe for that, like this video. Link description below, there's two of our sponsors. So we have Mini Mind for all your mini bits and bobs. Um, no discount code for July currently, but we are working on another one for you, hopefully. So just stay with us, guys. But obviously, go check them out anyway. They're a cracking company to buy from. So please just go and check them out. And Frost Restoration, we use the Fur Tan, and that's a great product. I cannot suggest to go buy that enough. I used Cure Rust before from Hammerite. It's so much better. The coating it leaves, you can leave the metal for months if you needed to. Like I could have just not painted that jig, I could have left it fur tanned and all that patina rust look to it, but I wanted to look clean and tidy. Um, you understand why um, when you see it on the car, it's look a bit nicer. Um, and obviously it's rusty metal, so why not treat it? So now it's got a zinc coating from the, the fur tan on it, it's got a zinc primer now on it, and then it's just been sat in black. So it's not a show car, not a show car, it's not a show piece, it's not a, you know, an antique or anything. It is just a jig and a tool to do the job. Right, right. I'm gonna sign out from this channel. I really, really hope that I can bring you this news that I really want to bring you soon. Um, so please bear with me. Make sure you subscribe so we're gonna miss out. Um, it's gonna be a really, really good journey and loads of really cool things coming up. So stay tuned, guys. Right, I'm signing out. I'm gonna go edit this video, chill out, and then, uh, yeah, it's um, back to work, I think.